The year was 1996, when World Hope International staff first stepped foot in Sierra Leone. As the Civil War was coming to an end, World Hope started offering hope to the people of Sierra Leone through the provision of relief supplies and the Limbs of Hope program, which fitted victims of violence with prosthetic limbs so that people could continue on with their lives. Now, 18 years later, another crisis threatens the millions of people who live in Sierra Leone. This time, it's the unseen Ebola virus. Once again, World Hope International is partnering with the Wesleyan Church and is at the forefront of restoring life in Sierra Leone. On the front lines of fighting Ebola, World Hope has converted two pickup trucks into makeshift ambulances with several more ambulances ordered and on the way. World Hope International is partnering with the Ministry of Health to transport patients who have potentially been infected with Ebola. World Hope drivers are also driving lab samples to test centers to confirm whether a patient actually has the Ebola virus. If the test comes back positive, it is crucial to safely transport the victims to the treatment centers that are sometimes hours away. During the waiting period, it is paramount to isolate the patients to prevent possible spread of the virus. Local drivers are helping with this process by taking patients to an isolation center that World Hope constructed and is partnering with health professionals and the government to staff and equip. However, at many of the treatment centers around Sierra Leone, patients cannot be properly cared for and the area disinfected due to the lack of clean water. This is where World Hope's experienced well drilling team comes in. At the government's request, they are drilling water wells for Ebola centers all over the country. This enables healthcare workers to do their job and increases the survival rate of Ebola-infected patients. World Hope is also training 750 community health workers about the Ebola virus and how it spreads. World Hope is supporting the government by building roadside checkpoint facilities to screen potential victims and encourage them to come forward for treatment instead of staying home and infecting their families. 18 years ago, World Hope International stood up to help Sierra Leone recover from a civil war. Today, will you stand with us once again to fight the insurmountable odds and stop the spread of Ebola? <laughs>